Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G, and this is Just Playing Tech. Today's video, as you probably remember, we installed Puppy Linux on this computer yesterday, and now we're going to add Puppy Linux to the Grub menu. The Grub menu is a little bit messed up right now. We're going to fix it up and add Puppy Linux onto Grub. And for those of you who don't know, Grub is the bootloader. The you know, when you boot up your computer, you choose which operating system you'd like to use. That's what Grub does. So, we're going to get that set up on this computer. Here we are on our computer. Now on this computer, Lubuntu is the operating system that basically manages the Grub. So we're going to go to System Tools, Grub Customizer. And if you want to install Grub Customizer, check out this video in the top over here. That will show you how to do that. Anyway, we're just going to enter our password. Okay and that will load up our grub configuration it'll probably take a few minutes depending on how old your computer is but this is a kind of old computer so it'll take a few minutes I'll be right back okay our configuration is loaded now we have Linux Mint Lubuntu CentOS and OpenSUSE but we got rid of OpenSUSE so we can remove that we'll remove all of this Anything that has OpenSUSE, we can remove. Now, everything having to do with OpenSUSE is removed. Alright, now we're going to have to open Gparted, which I believe is in System Tools. Yes. We'll have to enter our password, and then we are going to have to get on our web browser to add puppy to the grub we're gonna have to paste something from a website on a web browser so we'll open our web browser too and I'll get back to you when everything's loaded yes yes I know this is kind of cringy but this is the way I've always done it just get it from this website so I'm gonna go here and select all of this and copy Obviously, we're going to have to change that, but that's what I use as the base. So now if we go here, Grub Customizer, we're going to add an entry. I'm just going to name it Puppy Linux. All right, and type will be other, and now we just paste that in. But wait, wait, wait. We're not done yet. Alright, we're going to go over here to Dev SDA1, which is where we installed Puppy Linux. Okay, and we're going to set root to HDO1. Okay, HDO1 is equal to Dev SDA1. Alright, and this is actually Puppy Linux 19.03. On SDA one, you can change that if you want to. Instead of Slacko five point three three frugal, we're gonna type in U pup bb, standing for Ubuntu pup bionic beaver nineteen dot o three frugal. Okay. And now we can copy that and we can paste it right here. And then we can go over here and paste it right here as well. All right, so we got it here, here, and here. Now, this is not the correct UUID 
for the partition. So we're going to delete that. We're going to go back to Gparted over here, and I'm going to click Information. Right-click this one, Information. All right. Now you see UUID right here. We're just going to copy that, and then we'll go right here and paste. All right. Now we're done. Okay. Now we can just spam this up arrow and move it all the way up the list. But then there you go. Then you can save your grub configuration and you can boot into Puppy Linux. Great job. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below if you haven't already. See you next time.